Welcome to Kanban Zones Product Demo 2022. The best way to start is to jump directly into our zones. We currently offer six of these and each of them is meant to help you visualize your work so that it's in the format that can help you make the best decision possible. Let's jump into it. So let's start with the Kanban zone, which is where you'll see your information displayed on Kanban cards. And each card can be in a column that can have a whip limit, have explicit agreement, etc. So this is where you'll use your Kanban method to flow your work from left to right to completion. The next one is a list zone, and this is um, a way to select one or more cards so that you can perform bulk actions to better organize and modify your data quickly in Kanban zone. Now the first two zones I showed you, Kanban and list, are what we call single board zones. You can only select one board at a time. But once we move to the next three, you're going to see now you can select multiple boards at a time. So the first one is summary zone. And this is where every time you create a column in Kanban zone, you must associate it to one of these colorful column state. The reason for that is so that then we can perform advanced metrics. We'll show you that later. But here in the summary zone, it gives you the ability to see multiple boards all at once based on these colorful column states. The next one is table zone, extremely powerful. Think of an Excel sheet with everything you would expect, including pivot table and selecting your data, the ability to grouping your data, sorting it, filtering it, etc. So this is a very powerful zone where you can even create charts and export your data. Think of business analytics all in one area like this. Again, multiple boards can be selected in this one. The next one is the calendar zone, again, multiple boards can be selected to see all your dates associated to cards or tasks. In this case, we're seeing it by month, we could see it by week or day, and this is a great way to see how your dates are falling on a calendar view. I skipped the first zone on purpose because this one is very different. This is what we call my zone, and this is now turning the entire information against you and seeing what is going on in your world. So not only will we tell you how you're doing from your learning in Kanban zone, but we'll also give you your personal whip limit here where we'll let you put into my focus either cards or tasks that you believe are the most important thing you should be doing today in Kanban zone. You can also access all your stuff, whether it's cards or tasks across all your organization. And lastly, very powerful feature, if you column watch, meaning that you specify columns that are very important to you, you'll see all the cards um, falling into any column that you watch in Kanban zone. So that's it, those were our zones, and let's move to our next topic. So here's what a card looks like in Kanban zone, and this one has a lot of information, everything possible on it. So this is how a card would look when it's viewed on a board. But now let's look at cards in our system. So we are back in the Kanban zone or view, and this is where you can see all our cards and they're all different because they all have different type of information on them. So this one has the most, we'll click on this one. And once you do, you get into the card edit view. And this is where you can modify a lot of the information and look at your card metrics, um, manage your task within multiple checklists, communicate with your team members using comments, attaching documents from various sources to these cards, linking cards together using our parent-child relationship or our predecessor-successor relationship and the ability to see a full audit trail of everything that's going on. So these are our cards in Kanban Zone. And last but not least, our metrics. So once you are in a board in Kanban Zone, you can click our metrics and see this quick menu that shows you all your information quickly and you can dive deeper into it and that's what we're about to show you. So here in the top right, you can see the metrics menu, which will show you your data for the last four weeks for this specific board. And you can click on any of these sections to dig deeper and now see charts and the data behind these charts in a table format or both at the same time, and then switch between reports and always using this left side to modify your criteria so you can pick all these options that can really help you dig deeper into your metrics and telling you exactly what you need to know and how to improve um, your flow of work. So we sure hope you enjoyed this very quick demo of Kanban Zone. There is so much more you can do and we can't wait for you to start your free trial, contact us and jump on a call with us so that we can help you explore and get you started on your journey of continuous improvement. Thank you so much for watching.